as part of Wildlife and the World, today we're going to be making a bee house. And here it is. It's uh, basically it's a, a tin can that we're holding up with a piece of string. And it's filled up with lots of little tubes made out of paper. Now, this particular house is... For, for solitary bees, uh, they're bees that live on their own and they're not likely to use something like this, they use hollow stems. Bumblebees and honeybees that make honey are actually what we call social bees and they live in colonies but they wouldn't use one of these. But this is for solitary bees so it's very, very beneficial. So we're going to show what we could do. What you need to do to make one of these is to get yourself a, a tin can and take the lid off. Yeah, make sure there's no sharp edges if you're working on that. And because we want to hang hang this up somewhere, what we need to do is make, make a hole in the bottom there. So you probably want to get an adult to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a nail and a hammer and I'm going to just make a little hole in there, like that. There we go. A nice, nice hole. Um, you could do it with a tin opener or something, or if you didn't want to do that, you could probably just wrap the string around and do that way. And then what I need to do is get some string. I'm going to attach the the uh, handle on it. So I'm going to pop this string through there. If, if, if you find the end of the string is a bit frayed, what I do is pop it in a little bit of uh, water. It makes it a bit easier to um, go through the hole there. Pop that through, and I'll pop that right through. That's the other end, and then work out how how long you would like it. Just so probably sort of hang this up somewhere in the outside. Pop that like that. Cut that through. So that's nice size like that, isn't it? And I'm gonna just tie a knot there, and tight that nice little knot there. And tie around like that. There we go. There we go. I think I think that's quite nice. I'm just going to cut those ends off there. I just made it a little bit too long. So, so depending on where you're going to hang this, you'll have it have a long unit. Know. So we've got a nice uh, tin can there being held up. So now what we're going to do is going to start making some paper tubes. Yeah, because this is filled up with lots of paper tubes. Yeah. So what you need to do is get something like an old magazine, yeah, and something, take out a page. Make sure it's not one your, your granny's in the middle of um, reading, so it won't be too popular. And then get your can, and you want to work out, you want the tube just to be a little fraction shorter than the length of the, the can. That will stop it getting too wet on the ends. So I put it on here. Just about there. Use a pencil, mark off on the paper how long I want it. It's about there. And now what I'm going to do is just cut cut off a section of the magazine. Pop, pop that along like that. Nice and straight. nice bit of paper to make uh, tubes and then what we do is get a pencil and we're going to wrap the paper around here so careful put that on there take your time with this bit you want to get a nice tight tube that's it and then just gradually wrap it roll it around your pencil there we go there we go and that there we go nice tight around there and then what you can either glue this what i'm going to do is a little bit a little bit of tape on either end put that on the top of the thing there and one at the other end and i've got a nice tape yeah you might be able to do it without tape you're quite clever and then i just need to Pull it off the pencil like that. There you go, and you've got a nice, nice tube that is going to go into the can like that. 
you can see that there okay so this is this is the you know the bit where you probably want to get all the family involved because you're going to need quite a few of these tubes i've got a couple here i've, I've, I've done earlier and what you want to do is just start packing them into your your tin like that yeah okay just put them in like that you're going to need quite a few tubes and um gradually keep packing them up until they're really nice and tight and so as you can see here i filled all the tubes and they're, they're tight they're not going to fall out there yeah but it's probably about 50 odd tubes there so yeah definitely one for all the family yeah and then you kind of you've got a nice little bee house and um, what you might want to do make it which i haven't done this is to, to paint it that might be really nice whatever whatever color you like and and there you are so i'm going to go and hang this in my my garden now you know i i hope you know send us photos of what you've made let us know if you've got any any bees uh, living in your your bee house and um yeah so um good, good luck with that and i'll um I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.